happy Monday and welcome to FAMU News 20. I'm Kalisha Moore. And I'm Ariane Daly and we are ready to give the top stories of the week. Let's start with the 2020 election. Well, America has made its decision. After four days of waiting, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are projected to be the next president and vice president of the United States over the weekend. On Saturday, the Associated Press called the presidential race, resulting in a big win for the Democratic Party. As of today, Joe Biden has 290 electoral college votes and about 50% of the popular vote. Swing states such as Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Nevada proved to be wins for Biden as the votes were counted. President-elect Joe Biden is hitting the ground running, making headlines as he announces his COVID-19 task force. Here is what the former vice president says about the pandemic guidelines. This election is over. It's time to put aside the, part the partisanship and the rhetoric that designed to demonize one another. Please, I implore you, wear a mask. Do it for yourself. Do it for your neighbor. A mask is not a political statement, but it is a good way to start pulling the country together. You're fired. We've heard him say it on The Apprentice. Now President Donald Trump is saying it in the White House. In a tweet Monday afternoon, President Trump announced he has fired Secretary of Defense Mark Esper. The president posted that Esper was terminated, but thanked him for his service. A senior defense official says Esper prepared a resignation letter weeks ago amid mounting tension with Trump. According to the president, Christopher Miller will take over the role in an acting capacity. Miller most recently served as the director of the National Counterterrorism Center. Drug maker Pfizer says early data shows its COVID-19 vaccine has an effective rate of more than 90%. The so-called interim analysis looked at the first 94 confirmed cases of COVID-19 among the more than 43,000 volunteers. The volunteers got either two doses of the vaccine or a placebo. The data found that fewer than 10% of infections were in participants who had been given the vaccine. More than 90% of the cases were in people who had been given a placebo. The final goal of the trial is to reach 164 confirmed cases of coronavirus infection. It's worth noting the vaccine still needs to be approved by the Food and Drug Administration. And here's what CEO Albert Burla says about the possible cost of the vaccine if it stands trials. I think the vaccine will be available for free to all American citizens. I believe most countries will do the same. We are giving it to the government at quite low price. Um, so I think every American will have access to it. AMC and Cinemark theaters are seeing a surge in shares after Pfizer's vaccine trials. AMC stock spiked a whopping 80% in the pre-market trading. Cinemark stock rose more than 40% before the opening bell. The vaccine news offered hope for the theater industry. Since shutting their doors in March, chains like AMC and Cinemark have struggled. They tried to reopen with safety measures to help curb the virus's spread, but audiences have been too slow to return to theaters. At least one cruise line that operates out of U.S. ports is seeking volunteers for trial voyages. Cruise Industry News reports Royal Caribbean International wants to organize test runs to meet new CDC requirements. The agency has lifted its no-sale order, but operators have to try out health and safety protocols at sea before they can even apply for the CDC's COVID conditional selling certificate. That process takes time, so U.S. cruise lines are canceling regular voyages for the rest of this year. CVS named Karen Lynch as its next president and CEO, expanding the ranks of women leading Fortune 500 companies. CVS Health announced Lynch will be elevated to CEO on February 1st. She will replace Larry Merlot, who is stepping down. It will make Lynch the 40th female chief executive on the Fortune 500 list. Lynch is currently the executive vice president of CVS Health and president of Aetna, the insurance company CVS bought two years ago. Well, that's all I have for you. Now, here's Diamond Cannon with your latest in entertainment news. I'm Diamond McCann, now let's jump right into our entertainment news. Alex Trebek, host of Jeopardy, lost his battle with pancreatic cancer at the age of 80. In March of 2019, Trebek announced that he was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. Friends, family, and fans shared their memories with him on Twitter. 
Trebek has hosted more than 8,200 episodes of Jeopardy on 37 seasons. For the next six weeks, episodes will continue to air with the late host. I'm Maya Ellison coming to you with your top local sports stories. When it comes down to winning championship rings, a local high school volleyball team is definitely no stranger to securing the bag. Multimedia journalist Diamond Cannon talked with the Leon High School Lady Lions on how they plan on winning another state title. Ready, set, spike. The Leon High School girls volleyball team is heading to the Florida 6A state championship game after an undefeated season. The Lady Lions are spending their time bonding, practicing, and most importantly, strategizing to beat their upcoming opponents, Matter Academy. While other teams are studying their techniques, head coach Angie Strickland says they are focused on perfecting their craft. I think they're going to bring a lot of energy. Um, they always bring their best games when we um, play an opponent. Um, I, most of them know the history of our program, so we are going to be prepared for that with tough practices. With four Final Four appearances and two state championship titles within the last decade, the Lady Lions are facing a lot of pressure. The team is buckling down and detaching from extracurricular activities to ensure they are staying focused. Junior team captain Kaylin Demps tells us how her team is taking this opportunity seriously. Uh, we've been really playing for our senior Macy because she's the only one and we know that this is her last for Raw so we've all been like pulling together and like doing things on the side to um, prepare for that and work for Macy. If the Lady Lions win the 2026-8 State Volleyball Championship this weekend, the coaching staff says it will be the first time in history Leon High School earns back-to-back -back volleyball titles. With many defending titles, the Lady Lions are always ready to compete and most importantly, win. In Tallahassee, I'm Diamond Cannon for FAMU News 20. The Knight Creative Communities Institute, in partnership with the city of Tallahassee, challenged local artists to think art of the box. Reporter Kalisha Moore hit the streets to find out what this means. It covers the walls of businesses and buildings all over Tallahassee and now utility boxes. The unusual canvas has art lovers in the city finding fun ways to spend their time, like these two friends, Pamela S. Aveling and Jean Kimball, who spent the day on a scavenger hunt to find the boxes. Being fun ladies that we are, uh, Jean got the map and we're on a scavenger hunt to see all of the boxes. The designs range from modern art to three-dimensional pieces, transforming the utility boxes into many art galleries on the street. Some showcase flowers, and one even has a bird. KCCI and the City of Tallahassee selected artists through a free online application process that was open to all local residents with only one requirement, to think art of the box. Friends Aveling and Kimball are doing their part by sharing and encouraging people to support the arts. I'm, I'm taking photos of us at the boxes and I was going to put it on Facebook to try to encourage other people in the community to get out and support our arts. If you're looking for something to do, it's as easy as downloading this map, getting out and finding one of these boxes in the city. In Tallahassee, Kalisha Moore for FAMU News 20. The Transform Utility Boxes can be found in six different locations around the city. For more information on the location and the artist, visit kccitallahassee.com. Well, that's going to do it for us tonight for Anaja Maya Diamond. I'm Ariane. Have a good evening.